All right, everybody, welcome back to another one. Today we're in Microsoft Word, exploring options on creating templates and designing labels. So right here, we're looking at four by six labels. And the first step is going to be you open a new document and I will start with a fresh one. So new document. And first thing you'll notice is this grid pattern here you have under view grid lines and that's going to turn that on and off so we'll go ahead and leave that off for now so you can see this is standard document eight and a half by eleven in order to get your labels i'm going to go down to file page setup all right and you'll see your paper size here. We'll go ahead and add a new one. Once you add it, they'll be saved here. So let's add a four by two. Start by the plus sign. The width on a four by two is four. The height is two. And you just type the number, the inches will auto populate. On all my labels, I do a 0 0.1 margin all the way around. We'll click OK and that will save it. But let's rename it real quick. And I like to also include the margins in my file name. That way, if I come back and I need a wider or more narrow margin, I can tell the difference between the two or three just by looking at the file name instead of needing to open it up. Then we'll click OK. And you can see the new option there. Click OK there. All right. And the next thing I'd like to do is go to Layout, go down to Margins, go to Custom. These currently are still the 8.5 by 11 margins, so we'll update here as well. And I'm just pasting. I copied it when I did the very first one, and I've pasted it ever since then file name and all and we'll adjust the alignment to center if you don't prefer center alignment on your labels then obviously you can choose what you like or don't touch it at all we'll click OK and you're just getting this because it's the going against the default so we'll just ignore it it's quite small, but we're printing on small labels. That's all that's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and view our grid. And this is going to show us our printable area. And now you can see it's centered here. And to center horizontally, we're going to go to home and then right here. And we'll see. All right. Now I'm going to make that bigger. And you'll see once it gets too big, I'll go ahead and go to a second page just like normal. So mind your margins. The next thing we'll look at is adding a second page. So we'll go to the end of this document. Go to insert at the top. Page break. And if you want five pages, you just click it a few more times. And now we have five pages. And if you like it, go ahead and save it. I'm actually going to save this as a template. And I'm going to, I will name it four by two with 0.1 inch margins. And then I'm going to, I will put a times five so I can remember there's five pages in this template I really prefer to have as much information as possible in the title that way I don't have to open it up down the line when I need to find a certain template so all right and now that these are all done you can print as normal and you shouldn't have any issues if you do please come back to this video let me know in the comments and I will definitely help you out if you're looking for a 
option where you don't have to use Microsoft Word. I'm working on one on Google Drive. Google Docs don't doesn't really allow you to make really small documents, but I do know they have some other software and I'm working on an option for that. It should be out tomorrow from the day of this video posting. All right. As always, I thank you for the likes, comments, and subscribes. We'll catch you in the next one.